Okay, today is Saturday, October 13th, and we're back at Zohar, Ohio. This time we're going to go into some of the haunted buildings. Uh, this is the Zohar Hotel, and I took this before the last time we were here. Can't get into this one because it's condemned. But uh, we all feel a strong presence in this area, especially on the balcony. So just wanted to get it in. And across from the Zor Hotel is the Zor General Store. And the gift shop's next to the General Store. And that's where we have to go get our passes to tour the buildings. So we're getting ready. Okay, we're in the Zor General Store, and the manager is going to give us some information about her experience the experiences she's had in this building? Well, it was uh, January of uh, 2010, mm -hmm. and we just took over management of the site here from the Ohio Historical Society. And my maintenance manager and myself were in here, and we heard what sounded like someone walking upstairs in the attic. And it was the evening. So I sent him up there <laughs> to of course investigate did. to see what was going on, and the footsteps stopped and he couldn't find anything. He came back downstairs and uh, when he got back downstairs we heard it again and it wasn't an animal. It was definite, you know, yeah, stomping. definite stomping yeah. footsteps. So we called the sheriff. We thought somebody had gotten in here and, you know, was hiding and maybe uh -huh. was still up there. We called the sheriff. The sheriff came. He heard the footsteps too and my maintenance manager and the sheriff went upstairs. They couldn't find a thing. Oh, how funny. And when funny. they started back down the stairs, they heard the footsteps again. <laughs> and so they both said, let's get out of here. <laughs> so they left. We locked up the building and left. We never found anything, but we definitely heard footsteps. So. Wow. And you haven't heard any since? I work here late at night, many nights. I still hear doors squeak and open. I do hear noises and footsteps, but, you know, I'm busy. I've got stuff to do. Mm -hmm. and everything seems nice you know yeah. i'm never afraid here right. so, so no I, bad energy you know, is what you're saying you know, there are six floors in this building there's two lower basements oh and there's doors down in one of the basements down there oh i should take the guys down there i'm surprised the straw lasts so long this, of course, is, you know, kind of a mess right now. And so this used to be a tunnel, mm -hmm. that went, but they blocked it in. Mm -hmm. When they put State Route 212, but it used to go across the street to the hotel. Uh -huh. Yeah, the separatists operated the hotel up in the 1950s. And oh. President McKinley came down here all the time. This was the place to come back in the uh, late 1800s. Wow. To uh, take canal rides and go down the river and eat at the Zor Hotel and see the quaint countryside. They always describe it as quaint. I didn't think it would have been quaint back then. I would have thought it would have been contemporary. People from. <laughs> no, it was quaint. <laughs> Cleveland, Akron, Canton, you know, come, come down after the canal gets around. This is my favorite thing. Oh my. Look at this. Ooh, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sub basement. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can get down without a. I'm a klutz. I don't think I can get down there. I don't think I can either. But I'm not going to test it up. Yeah. I might as well go. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Thanks. I'm sure asleep. Take lots of pictures down there. It doesn't have a handle. No, there's a way I can go. Be careful. Yeah. This was a... That's so cool.
and history of the village. Okay. So if you'd like to see it, I'm showing it right now. Okay. But as soon as it's done, we'll show it to you folks. In the meantime, just look around. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, and if you find anything, let us know. Okay. <laughs> we have our uh, ghost tours coming up in a couple weeks. Yeah, we saw so, that. We uh, got a flyer from that. Yeah, so uh, we're anxious to hear of any... <laughs> Do you mind being on the video? What, what are you going to have? I, I'm I, not talking. <laughs> you don't want to talk? No, I'll probably put it on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> That's all right with you? As long as you don't talk, get me talking. Okay. <laughs> Naturally, that? you're a good talker, though. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> I just want to always ask, because I don't want anybody to see themselves on YouTube and go, I didn't tell her she could do that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow, we have some great photographs in here. Oh, we do. We have wonderful. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that's the canal. I love the old frames. Oh, the old frames are beautiful. And that's my camera taking pictures of your camera. <laughs> floor, stairway to the second floor. Wow. Wow. There's a lot of activity around the Erie Canal. It's amazing. Yeah. Because that's just like when we went to Canal Fulton, where the Erie Canal is. It's there's just any place that's near the Erie Canal. There's a lot of activity. No, right? Just the canal. We're oh. working canal. Oh, okay. Where you, the wicked bunches yeah. and the wicked bunches. Wow, look at these old photographs. Well, I don't know how they do. Mm -hmm. They're so Does anybody feel anything? I'd say, well, walk around and see if you just. Okay. Does somebody else want to? You want to hold? Thanks. And it could be residual sometimes. Oh, something in front of the because they can. Because <laughs> they can. Because they can. Uh, most of these, most of the people that are in this area would be people that were living here or working here, okay. and just way back when. Yeah, just don't want to leave for oh, whatever okay. reason. Because they could leave. They could leave, but yeah. they just don't want to. Oh. And you know, people that say they don't know they're dead—that's baloney. They know they're dead. When somebody goes up to you and they don't answer you. Or you can walk through a wall. That's a pretty good indication that you're dead. You know what I mean? You can't. I've only seen it in pictures. How about how about on the corner of your eye? Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen anything in the corner of your eye? Right here. Seems like. But then when I go that way, it stops. Something. Yeah. That's it. The stairs. Yeah. The landing. Yeah. Yeah, you can, no, there's nobody there, but it's seen. Yes. Yes. That's it. You've seen it. You've seen it. I know they didn't buy this cupboard. This is the only spot I could. Okay. I'm telling you, it's, it's taking pictures of the floor. It's right here. We're getting 1.3. But look how her thing is. You think that would be. You should have something like that. 1.8. This is an electrical. There's nothing electrical here. 1.2, 1.0. It's right. This is yes, right here. It's not up towards. This is. It's not the ceiling. The floor either. Maybe no, if it's. If you bring it over here, it is. But over here. Yeah, there's no electrical here. It's 1.9. It's Yeah. Yeah, it's a three right here. It's like this picture, maybe 1.6. Oops. One point. It went to 1.08. Oh no, and then it goes down. Look at. So what's the deal here? See how it's just like pegged at, at yellow, which is so weird. 
That's what mine's pegged at, too. Thank yeah, you. yours Thank is right you. there. Yeah. Oh, I thought she was talking. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, you can thank her. Yeah, there's something about this area. He probably went upstairs. Okay, let's put my. No, I'm getting zero. Zero, zero up there. It's this corner right here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're crawling. It's that whole back section right where you're standing. Mine didn't either. So, you want to do an EVP in here? Yeah. You have your, um, okay, let's try to do an EVP in here. <laughs> when you try to communicate and you won't hear it live, but sometimes it'll pick up on the recorder when you go back and listen to it. Kind of like a dog whistle. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, very good way of saying it, like a dog whistle, exactly. The recorder will pick it up. Okay, so somebody start. You want to start? Is there anybody here with us today? If you're here, can you make our K2 meter lights go off and our uh, millimeter um, go up? Anything? Um, yeah, so like when we go back to your you little flickers you on the second one. We use them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're getting more? I was getting flickers on this one. Can you go around that go around that wall and see if you get it on the other side as well? Can you tell us your name? Straight. Show him that one no, first. That one there. This one you here. See that person in the tree to the left side? Where? Oh, right, wow. right there. Oh, that's yes, you can see the line going through her head. Yeah, you can see it right through her head. She doesn't have a... Like a little... Not Photoshop. <laughs> no, they didn't have Photoshop back then. They had double exposures, but there would be something else there. But, but he's too big. Yeah, this little girl doesn't have a head. That's what I think. I just don't know. Yeah, that girl... It would have been hot. Would have been difficult. And hot, yes. yes. Put it back. Is it really heavy? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't ask Debbie. Don't ask Debbie to do it. She broke it. It's 180 years old. Fold it back a little bit. Two hands works better. Fill it and lift. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> and that would have been really hot, too. Yeah. yeah. Taking it off and on would have been hot. You had to use pad holders with it. Mm -hmm. Not with the handles, not, it's really not too bad. Actually, they can find a picture of the handle off. Well, how you work, how you work, you just basically put the coals around inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. This is actually this whole thing would get hot. Yes, it does. I look at this like yeah, it's that's a what I mean. stove, but it's yeah. really not more like. Not the flat like today. No, yeah. But to see how to send the concept of the cooking is more like this. Want to try it again? <laughs> <laughs> So 
so it's an access to a wood burning stove. Basically, so, so they, can, they can feed the stove and service it without going into the room and bothering the person. Okay. You know, if you go on the second floor, there's one on this wall on the second floor that will uh, you can actually see through it. It's not plastic, so you can see really how it works. By the way, just so you know, this is one of our stops on the ghost tour. This is on, this, on the ghost tour, this house? Yeah, it just it could be at night instead of daytime. What have you experienced here? Uh, second hand, uh, some first, actually first hand, very little. Uh huh. Uh, the lady next door. You met the lady in the town hall yes. next door. Did she tell you about her experience in here? Yes. About the, I'll show you the cabinet upstairs that she's okay. talking about. Okay. And uh, in the tin shop, we had some people in here a while back. They were on tour. And they talked about, and, 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 and they were by themselves. We were down, the, we just let the people in the buildings uh -huh. that night. And uh, they talked about, in the experience, they encountering a woman in white. Ah. A woman in white. And uh, with a veil. Was it a, a young, a youth, or was it a child, or was it? Young woman is what they Young described. woman, yeah. okay. Yeah, in a tin shop. In the tin shop. What's okay. interesting about that, the Zora has a, I can't think where the young lady is here. I won't, I won't guess her age, but <laughs> you can guess her age. You don't mind. She she no, she's not talking about me. <laughs> no. right. Oh, anyway, Leanne. Any, any, what? Any, anyway, the, uh, the one of the traditions are who visits your house. Yeah. This is the number one house. Came in, we think it came in somewhere off the canal. Mm -hmm. And the color epidemic. There was one in 1832 in Dover, and this was 1834 here. But you figure the terror in town. So, I don't know, what, three or four hundred people, fifty people died in a matter of a few weeks. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's difficult. Yeah. Wow. There's the trauma I was wondering about. Yeah. Why is the city so haunted? That and the bakery, which I'll tell you about the bakery when you get there. There's a good story behind the bakery. And we had guests that come here that pick up vibrations and stuff like that from, from, the, from the baker's wife. This looks like the sewing room. And there's something about this cabinet that I feel has some energy in it. So this is the spinning room. It's at the end of the house on the first floor. Lots of people here had sheep. And so much of the material used for their clothing was wool. And the big dirt pile you can probably see through the window is part of the levee to keep the water from flooding the town. Which it has done, the canal water. <laughs> 